Lap Podcast. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Lap Podcast. That's right. Welcome back, all my fellow bikeaholics. That's right. This podcast is for the big MM, the motorcycle majority. That's right. Mm -hmm. The 99 percenters, baby. That's right. We cover it all here on the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. Anyways... Welcome back, guys. This is Ryan Erlacher, your host of the Law Abiding Biker Podcast and your high-tech redneck. All right, guys, we have a special uh, podcast. This is our birthday podcast, and I am alone in the studio, and it's probably, let me get adjusted here and comfortable, it's probably fitting that I am alone in the studio. Uh, it was weird. I tried to get uh, the guys to uh, come over and they're always good about it, let me tell you, uh, for the past year. Um, they've been awesome about it. But for whatever reason, I wanted to get this episode, well, there is a reason, but I wanted to get this episode out on our anniversary date. And so um, they couldn't come over till the following weekend. I'm still going to have them come over, though, because we've got many podcasts to come uh, in the coming year as we just ramp it up and keep going at this thing so anyways uh they couldn't make it and i was wasn't able to get it recorded before uh our anniversary date and so i decided just to come in here and crank it out myself made out some show notes and i think we've got some interesting stuff and you and everybody who's found us along the way in the last year and those of you that have been with us since the beginning that are very humble beginnings Thank you so much, and I think it'll be a fun ride today. A little about where we came from and where we're going um, and the transparency here at Law Abiding Biker Media, keeping you guys on board on what we are planning on doing. So let's get into it. I've got a lot of content. Um, so yeah, our anniversary date, uh, way it's not way back, but it was a year ago, and I'm gonna. it was March 16th of 2013 is when I, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry for that, guys. If you guys are hearing that, I'm trying to adjust. I need to get some oil on this mic. My uh, boom arm is is, uh, squeaking there as I'm trying to get everything adjusted here. Uh, But yeah, March 16th, 2013 is when I got the first episode out. And if you guys remember, and if you don't, if you're just catching up and you're new to the podcast, I started, um, they say, if you're going to get a podcast started, just to go for it. And don't wait till everything's perfect and in place. And in fact, it wasn't. I did it from my daughter's closet. And the reason I did that, you guys remember, is I was having troubles with, uh, with, with Echo. And I wasn't using the best equipment, but I was happy with what I had at the time. And it was good enough to get it out. So I did it in my daughter's closet, kind of used it as a sound room. I started with nothing more than, um, and if anybody ha- knows some of this equipment, um, I started with nothing more than a, uh, uh, iPad and I recorded it on my iPad. I used the boss jock app and a blue snowball condenser microphone. And with a condenser microphone like that, you get a lot of echo. And so with my daughter's closet and all the clothes around, uh, I was able to cut down on the sound, uh, so to speak, and kind of use it as a, a sound room. It worked out. It's not the best audio quality, but that's all I had um, is those items. And then, of course, I had my single monitor iMac at the time. And so I could get all the uh, podcast, all the audio uploaded to where it needed to go and get it out on the website and stuff like that. I was just getting the website going back then. I actually got the website going before I released the first episode because I needed it up and running. Um, Took me a lot of time to build. I've added a lot to it. 
as you guys have probably seen the changes. And again, uh, you know, as we progress here, I will uh, likely be making changes to the website and at some point a huge upgrade. Just too busy to do that right now. So anyways, uh, yeah, those are the three things I started with. Um, Very simple. And that first uh, Lab 01, uh, I got the title here, Intros, Stories, and Heated Riding Gear Review. Uh, which, believe it or not, if you go back and listen, you'll see how the podcast has changed, changed not only the format, uh, but also um, just kind of how we've evolved over time. And again, I started by myself, didn't have any co-hosts. It wasn't until episode number four when I brought in my first co-host, and I had always planned on bringing my first uh, or co-host in. Like I said, you just, if you're going to start a uh, podcast, you just have to go for it. If you wait, and I didn't have the uh, co-host in place, and there just wasn't time, and I just had to go for it, uh, put myself out there, which I've done, and it was for the best. But number four, we picked it up, and from then on, for the most part, uh, have had co-hosts. Uh, of course, you all know them. Let's see if I uh, we got, uh, of course, Lurch and uh, Chewy. We've got Law Dog, Oscar, and Popeye. And thanks to those guys, uh, they do it all for free. All I pay them right now, uh, I can't pay them. At uh, some point, I would like to, uh, but they don't really expect it. They don't want it. They just enjoy coming over. I always feed them and hydrate them well. Uh, so to speak. So they don't mind. And, and we have fun on a, you know, that's not even in my notes, but on a side note, I just want to say that the podcast, um, y'all know, um, by now we're all members of the sworn few law enforcement motorcycle club and all full-time law enforcement officers. This is a side gig that we do. And I will tell you that, uh, this podcast has really, truly brought us closer together. And we've talked about it and I've thought about it because we always hung out and got together. Um, but we now it's like mandatory that we have to get together a certain amount of times a month because we have to record episodes and get them out to you guys. So it really forces us to get together and and be with the families and make dinners and, 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 and hydrate together. And it's been a really great thing. I never, when I started thought that it would serve that purpose, but it really has because we don't do our podcast remotely. Um, I'm not saying that we never will. It's just not. I've talked to the guys a little bit about it, but everybody just really likes coming here to my place, to the Law Abiding Biker Studio. We've really fixed it up over time, and uh, it's very inviting. It's very comfortable. It's set up nice. We all have our places. We've got the, all the equipment and mics, and it gets us together physically so we can be together and enjoy each other's company, and we just have a blast pumping out these podcasts and I know as the guys do them they like it more and more and I think that they must go through withdrawals when they haven't done them in a while I I, I, am actually certain of that so yeah awesome guys uh great feedback we have got great feedback over the last year um oh let me real quick after I got through that uh, a little history after we got through that uh the closet episodes and I came out of the closet uh make some jokes back then about that and I truly did come out of that closet And I was able with, by that fourth episode. So when I brought on my first co-host, which was cuz, uh, he was the, uh, I forgot to mention him. Um, he's a very, very busy man these days and starting a new business and stuff. So he just hasn't been able to be involved, but, uh, he was, uh, the first co-host. And when he came in, I had all my new equipment set up and the only way it was really by fate, I was able to afford all this awesome audio equipment that we have is because I was able to sell something that I was trying to sell for a long time. And it finally, I prayed for it and uh, God does answer prayers. And certainly enough, within a couple of weeks, that item, I had an offer on it and it was what I was looking for. And I sold it and I dumped all that money. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of money. I won't, I'm not going to put a number on it, but uh, a lot of money into um and i really pieced it out but i've got all professional audio equipment now and that's when i know you guys really saw the audio quality pump up i got rid of the condenser mics i went with dynamic microphones and mixer and a whole bunch of other um, gadgets and toys that it's not necessary to get into Um, but they really are necessary and i didn't go with the you know the uh biggest and baddest of everything i went with what I knew that I would need and I had it in my mind and I had it pieced out. 
I didn't buy a package anywhere. I went out and pieced it piece by piece and got the best deals I could and, and basically put it together myself. I don't like packages when it comes to audio equipment and, and video equipment and things like that. I'm very particular. You guys know me by now. Very particular how, how, how I do things and um, I'm fairly organized. Hopefully you see that. And so I like to pick and choose exactly what I want and not do package deals. So I got everything that I needed. And we, since then, have had great feedback on our audio quality. Thank you for all those that have sent emails and feedback on our audio quality. It is very important to me to have the best of audio quality. And I hope that uh, I hope you hear that in our podcast. Um, very uh you know, kind of an audio snob when it comes to that, so to speak. And believe me, it's not perfect. I, I do try to t- tweak it from time to time, and it depends on what guests you have. And you've heard me make jokes about before people peek in the the, the uh, mics and mixers and stuff. But I truly do want a good quality show because I think that if you don't have a good quality show, uh, I do know for a fact some emails that I got that people leave other shows uh, because of audio quality problems. It doesn't matter how good the content is. If it's not fun, great to listen to and it's it's hard to listen to and or it's quiet and you have to hold your iPhone up to your ear or it's, you know, it's just and I know I have. I've heard some other podcasts. I listen to a ton of different podcasts and uh, the ones that don't have good audio, I don't good audio quality. I, I have left some. So thank you guys for that and, um, and the feedback on the audio quality and just for telling us how great it is. And I have tweaked it over time, made a lot of tweaks, and I think I kind of have it down now. Um, but there could always, I'm sure, be better things to do. But I've got a good workflow going, and uh, it seems to work okay without a ton of... I really don't have to do uh, editing afterwards unless somebody swears or something like that. I really don't have any post-audio um, or, uh, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? I don't have any, uh, post audio production, a whole bunch to do. Um, pretty much how we record it is how it goes out to you guys. I might chop off the beginning or something where we're talking or something, the end a little bit, but most of the time, if keep my fingers crossed, nobody swears, which has happened. Then I got to go find it and put the beeps in. But other than that, um, yeah, uh, we also on that note, keep this show, uh, we have kept it rated for everyone. And, you know, there are times where, you know, we, there have been some swear words accidentally, but, um, you know, I can beep those out and by keeping it rated for everybody, you know, I, I just, I've always wanted to do it that way. I didn't really feel it necessary to make it rated R or anything like that or explicit because I really don't need to use a ton of those words, um, to get our point across and to have a good time. And, by that we get a lot more listeners because of that because uh, some listeners don't want to listen to a bunch of filth and uh, yeah we make little uh, jokes and innuate you know innuendos towards certain things and and that's all in good fun but uh, you know just a rancid uh, bad language podcast I just from the beginning didn't want to go down that road so thanks guys for sticking with us on that and uh, haven't had any complaints on that at all so thank you very much and uh, all right next I will talk about really quick our, uh, I just, I'm getting a ton of emails guys and I love the emails. Keep sending them. And we have a ton that we're going to get in upcoming episodes. So look forward to that. I, I do try to get to them. I do respond to them. You just have to understand I'm going out this alone right now. I mean, the guys come help me record. Um, you know, they help me record podcast and, and some of the videos uh, they've helped with a few, But by and far, the whole workload I do, and um, I spend most of my days off from my regular job just working on this stuff to try to get blogs and videos and and, and podcasts and all that out to you guys. So um, the emails come, and I I do respond to them, and I'm at a point now where I just can't get them all right away on podcast episode. However, that is absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. So keep them coming. I didn't know we'd get to that point in less than a year. Um, so yeah, March 16th, I just wanted, I was just looking at my notes. I want to get this podcast out on March 16th so that you guys can have an anniversary episode. So this will kind of be a special one. Um, where was I? I lost track. Oh, please. So yeah, please keep sending the email lawbindingbiker.com slash contact. You can send us an email and believe me, they are awesome and they bring up 
all kinds of topics for us to talk to. So don't get discouraged. It just may be several episodes down the road before I can get it in. On that note, spam email is out of control here at Law Abiding Biker. I get upwards of 200 to 300 spam emails a day as we have gotten more popular. I uh, It's ridiculous. And I am, if you're out there listening, and I have all the basic spam things in place, but if you really, I've heard of some different spam solutions, but this is a community and I need help. And if you have a good spam solution that isn't too costly because we already have enough expenses going, if it's not too costly, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, what I'm talking about spam, I'm talking about direct spam um, into my inbox at ryan at lawabidingbiker.com, which is also where the contact form uh, contact form pushes to. And so I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up in the morning and literally uh, just overnight in eight hours, a hundred plus new spam. And the more we get out there, uh, the more popular we get, the the crazier it's getting. And I, I'm pulling my hair out. I really, really need a spam solution. So if you've got it, email me, which I just gave out and I would really be appreciated, uh, appreciative, excuse me. All right. Um, I did another audio promo. We're getting ourselves out there. I did this. I don't, no, I want to say uh, maybe three months ago, and it has been used in some different areas. It's been used on some other podcasts to promote this podcast, and I have never put it out there before, so uh, I just wanted to put it out there real quick, so take a listen. Welcome to the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. And I am Ryan Erlacher, your host of the Lab Podcast and your high-tech redneck. This is a podcast for the motorcycle majority. That's right, the 99 percenters. If you are a true bikeaholic, then this is the only prescribed therapy that you will need. We cover everything motorcycle, trends, ride reviews, equipment reviews, laws and issues, clubbing, motorcycle news, television and media, and so much more. You can listen to the podcast on all major platforms. So look no further. Check us out at lawabidingbiker.com. There you go. That was a promo I did, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. You might be hearing more of that in uh, as we go on another year here. So, um, excuse me. Let's see. Where are we? I'm looking at my notes here. Oh, yeah. Um, so, new uh, free video I wanted to, excuse me, <clears throat> clear my throat there. A new video, uh, free video uh, blog release. I have a bunch out, guys. I'm not going to tell you about all of them on this podcast. I've got a bunch of podcasts coming up. I'll tell you about them, but I did want to just throw you one bone here. And that is, uh, it's been, I've got a lot of emails about it and there's a lot of uh, talk about it on our website. And remember, you can comment directly on our website after any blog or any podcast, like on our homepage, there's a ton of stuff there. And if you click on any of those items, then it takes you to that actual blog and then there's a comment form, um, but they're not right on the homepage. You act, actually have to click through to the, each blog uh, and or video to make comments. So this new free video release is how to adjust a manual Harley Davidson touring rear suspension. We've talked about this in past podcast just so you guys know 2014 street glide the regular street glide came with air suspension i used to have that on my 2011 street glide adjustable air suspension the 2014 street glide special um, came with manual adjustable rear suspension and i've had a lot of questions on it so i did a very thorough blog and a very thorough video uh, of course as i do here at law-abiding biker media um, and you can get that at lawbitingbiker.com forward slash 2014 SGS, and that stands for Street Glide Special SGS Suspension. So 2014, excuse me, 2014 SGS Suspension. And in there is the blog is all the specifications for load and weight and how much you should be adjusting it. And it is a manual adjustment. It's under your left saddle, saddle bag. And I will, I walk you through that in this free completely free video so go ahead and check that out i wanted to throw that at you real quick uh let's go on down to uh um, donations real quick i want to thank some people and we're going to talk a little bit about donations later um, but i just want to thank butch Sheely of winchester kentucky thank you so much very substantial donation butch god bless you and thanks so much for supporting law-abiding biker next john bisball who is a repeat donator and thank you so much john bisball of i think i'm saying it right pulaski pennsylvania p-u-l-a-s-k-i i'm gonna have to look up where that is john has been a big supporter of the show thank you so much john and last edward hendrickson of naples florida 
Thank you, Edward, so much for your donations and uh, for supporting the show. And uh, we really couldn't do it without the donations. And like I say, we'll get a little bit into that in uh, later in the sh- in the show. All right, guys. Here is where we you, you all obviously you know where we started now, and uh, you know where I started. Um, and we're going to go through a little about some of the hurdles and things. Uh, we've come very far in a very short amount of time, and that is not without a lot of work. Um, and I've told you, I mean, literally, uh, you know, I do, guys. I put in on my days off like 12, sometimes, you know, 13-hour days. I enjoy it. I'm really enjoying it. The, my favorite part, I'll tell you guys, is actually recording these audio podcasts. And the second part is recording the videos that I do, the the tutorial videos, both for sale and the free videos. I don't like editing the videos, although I know how to do it and I do it all myself. It's just time consuming and it takes a lot. I don't like editing audio, but I have to sometimes. Um, It's just that's part of the game that, you know, when I'm given the podcast and the videos, then that comes along with it. So, um, it, it, it can be rewarding. What I like is when I'm done and I actually listen to a podcast or I watch a video, it's like, wow, it all came together. So, you know, the, the, it, a lot of the other stuff, I guess, uh, just becomes a lot of work. Um, as far as the, you know, I, I do answer a lot of questions. Um, and I love, you know, I gotta keep the website up. I'm always doing stuff with that. So it just becomes, um, uh, but it's okay. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I am so ecstatic uh, where we are uh, just within one year. Um, most people, if you listen to other um, podcasts that talk about podcasting, um, the amount, literally the amount, and that's what I want to talk about is our podcast downloads. We are so overwhelmed with the amount of downloads we're getting that is we keep going because we look at those we're like you got to be kidding me something's got to be wrong of course i can track all that i can track how many website visitors guys i'm not going to get into all that techie stuff with you but i have uh, um, all kinds of ways to track these things and i just simply don't have enough time believe it or not to track all this stuff so i don't do it that often but for this episode i did and our podcast downloads have continued steadily and they continue to rise as more bikers learn about us. So word of mouth is awesome. Social media, pass it on, guys. Get us out there. Um, we really want to get this into the hands of all law-abiding bikers and continue to make this an awesome community, which it has become. We are way beyond where I thought we would be in a year. I mean, in our wildest dreams, there are podcasts out there that have started that aren't where we are in three years. And I'm telling you the truth on that. Um they say, you know, they give certain numbers you should have. And I'm looking at ours going, okay, I'm not sure how we did that. I do know how we did that. And that's strictly um, because of you guys. I truly believe you guys, the listeners, the audience, and um, all the input you guys uh, give us and continuing to listen and continue to pass it on. Um, We put in a lot of hard work on our end, but we absolutely without you guys, the listeners, then we wouldn't be doing it because I'm not going to do it for a minimal amount of downloads. Um, we started that way, but now that we have uh, are where we are, I want to keep that uh, momentum going, so to speak. So next, Google searches for, yes, Google's, we have really, really ranked up. I am so stoked about this. When I tell people this, um, it's almost unbelievable. And I have to actually have them do it. I go, get on your phone right now. So first thing, guys, is if you're signed into Google, you know, if you're not, I don't know a lot of people that don't use Google as a search engine. It it is the number one. Um, It is the best, I think, and the most accurate. But um, so I'm just speaking about Google search results. If you're going to do this and you're listening to this podcast or you want to tell somebody else to do it, make sure you are signed out of your Google account. And that means don't have be signed into YouTube or don't be signed into your Google account, Google Plus or anything like that because it um, sways results. And what I mean by that is if you're signed into your Google account and you search for a specific item, it's going to give you, um, it works most of the time and it's good when you're regularly surfing the web for the, this little test. I encourage you to sign out of Google because what Google does is it knows, it kind of gets to know you 
And based on what you type in and what you've done in the past, it tries to give you results that are more specific to you. So the best way to do this is make sure you're signed out of Google. But if you truly sign out of Google and you're doing this on your phone right now or whatever on your computer that you're listening at, um, just type in um, search for uh, biker podcast, just like that. Two words, biker podcast. Um, And I will tell you that in one year, Um, we have ranked up, we take up the entire first page of Google search results for biker podcast. Um, there are, I'll tell you this, we take up the first 10 results or excuse me, we take up, there's 10 results per page on Google. We take up the first nine. Um, it is all law abiding biker. It's law abiding biker.com. It's YouTube videos. It's stitcher radio. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I've worked really hard at that, but you can only work so hard at SEO, which is search engine optimization for you that don't know. I'm not going to get into that, but there's certain things you can do to help that out, but you cannot fool Google feelers. Let me tell you, the only way you get ranked that high is, uh, well, by uh, good quality, steady content that you're putting out. Um, and we believe we've done that. We hope it's quality content. Um, some of it may be less than quality, but we hope it's fun if it's not quality, but by putting out that very steady flow, um, of information and quality blogs and videos and the, the, uh, uh, community as far as comments and things like that, you know, you can't, you can't fool Google and Google knows that we've been doing it and we've been putting it out. And because of that, they have uh, the crawlers have rewarded us, so to speak. Not really rewarded us. They don't know what they're doing, but the crawlers have ranked us number one. So uh, one through nine, in fact, take up the whole first page. Um, and Google search results for the words motorcycle podcast. This one's been a little slower going, but we have worked our way right into when we started. Of course, we weren't anywhere in Google rankings, and. We, it started, you know, down at page five and we've slowly just the crawlers have bumped us up, bumped us up. And that's just going to keep going because we're going to keep out putting out quality and fun and educational informational content for you guys. So the search for motorcycle podcast ranks us. If you're signed out of Google ranks us at number uh, on the first page, we take up position number five and position number 10. The, those keywords are a little bit harder and, uh, um, it's okay, but still after a year to even rank, cause there are a ton of hits on motorcycle podcast pages and pages to even be on the first page is absolutely amazing. Again, uh, we, it's because of putting out quality and consistent content. Um, we've been making headway all year long on motorcycle podcast to rank in Google, uh, first page. Uh, there are other motorcycle podcasts, of course, that beat us out, um, at this point. And that's just simply because they've been around a bit longer. But as I stated, we are crawling and, uh, we're, we're, uh, like, uh, little spiders, I guess. And we're crawling up and we keep moving up in Google rankings. And it, uh, I, I know over the next year we'll continue to, uh, bump up on the words motorcycle podcast, um, right up into maybe number one position. I won't make any predictions, but it really doesn't matter. We're on the first page. And the point is that's how, uh, you know, hopefully our hard work is paying off. And, uh, obviously if you rank number one in Google, more people find you, you guys know that when you do a Google search, um, usually you don't go beyond the first, second page and you find what you need. So, um, time will tell, and we will see what happens this year, guys. If you stay with us, amazing things are going to happen. I know that. Um, of course, if you search, uh, many other search criteria, I'll just name one boombox instruction guides, uh, for boombox instruction or boombox guide or how to use boombox. We are all over Google page number one. In fact, a lot of times we beat out Harley Davidson website themselves, believe it or not on those particular items. There's a whole bunch of others, um, power commander and, and, pipes and the, just think of the array of videos we've made over the past year and sky's the limit. If you search for certain things, we come right up in top rankings in Google. So very excited about that guys. Um, and again, that is not only because of us, the hard work and the hard work I've done. It's simply because of you. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, it's kind of a fun little thing. Let's move on right into Facebook page, our Facebook page. Uh, if you want to get it guys, lawabitingbiker.com forward slash Facebook, it's that simple. 
Um, that's something I want to say real quick before we get to Facebook is I've made over the year a ton of permalinks for you guys to make it very easy to navigate our website. So you'll hear me talk about that a lot on the podcast. Um, you know, go to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Facebook or forward slash uh, voice message or whatever it may be. Um, we've made those permalinks and I believe by giving those out, it gives you guys a direct, when you listen to the podcast, you can give, get a direct link and make it really easy to go exactly what you need. Um, so hopefully that's, it's something that I do in the back end of my website and I really t- try to keep it easy for you guys. So hopefully that's been helpful, but again, forward slash Facebook page, we'll get back on that topic. We now have over a thousand likes on our Facebook page. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about that. Um, That hasn't been extremely easy. And you know, here's the deal on Facebook. Um, We are growing. We are moving up. Please pass it around. You guys are the reason because of sharing it and all that. And I work at it and I work on putting a lot of content on it. Um, But really, you know, like I've spoken in the past, uh, the way Facebook aggregates it, uh, it just, you're not going to see every, unless you go to our Facebook page, you're just not going to see every post I do, but it is a fun thing. And here's, here's the thing on Facebook. Like I've said in the past, uh, you know, I don't care how I, I want good quality likes on Facebook page. You know, there are some Facebooks that pages that are, you know, 2000 or 3000 or 10,000 or whatever, you know, really doesn't matter if people aren't interacting with you. And I really appreciate those people um, that have taken the time to make comments on the Facebook page. We do comment back. We do like your comments. If you, and you will see some of our listeners over the year have sent some posted their own really cool things on the page and then I share them. So it actually gets posted right on top of the Facebook page. So everybody can see it and share in it and comment on it. So I kind of like to use it as a community. It is growing. It's going to continue to grow. And we're so thankful to you guys um, for that. Also face Facebook while we're in search stuff. Uh, if you search for, um, you actually can't search for biker podcast. And what I'm talking about is in Facebook itself at the top, there's a search bar. You can actually search um, in there. You won't get any hits on biker podcasts at all on anybody. What you uh, you can what you can search for is biker. And if you drop down, um, once you search for biker, and it will ask you, you can do the drop down menu there, and it drops down and it says, uh, um, would you like to search for all, I'm air quoting, all pages named biker. And you just say yes. And uh, we rank very high in there. Um, I can't remember. I'm not going to pull it up. But like within the first 10 results, um, just for the word biker within Facebook, which is huge. Um, and I don't think any other biker related podcast beat us out. In, face- in fact, they don't. Um, so we're ranked up very high there. So if you want to try that, you can just search in Facebook. So moving on from Facebook. Um, oh, I lost my- Lost my place here. Stay with me, guys. Okay, iTunes reviews. Okay, Um, we have ranked up in um, iTunes. In fact, if you search within iTunes itself for Biker Podcast, it fluctuates from day to day, but we are always ranked one or number two. Um, The only, actually, we're number one for a Biker Podcast. The only podcast that sometimes gets ranked above us in iTunes is another biker podcast and it has nothing to do with motorcycles. It's a mountain biker podcast. So they, they, uh, uh, rank a little bit higher than us, but as far as a motorcycle biker podcast, we are number one, um, for those search criteria biker podcast. That's pretty exciting. If you have iTunes open, check that out yourself and very exciting over the past year. Um, we have moved right up on the search criteria motorcycle podcast, um, and we are number one in iTunes if you do search Motorcycle Podcast. Um, some days there's one in front of us, and it is truly a motorcycle podcast, and I can't remember which one it is. I don't have iTunes open, but uh, we are number one or number two slot for Motorcycle Podcast. So that's extremely exciting, and that comes from you guys. That is not because of me. There is nothing you can do in iTunes to trick iTunes. There's nothing you can do. I mean, there are some things about how you label your podcast and uh, some different things like that, but by and far, the... the, the uh, and it's not even how many, believe it or not, the way iTunes, uh, the, the way it aggregates things, and I've listened to a lot of other podcasts on this, but the way it aggregates things is it has nothing to do with the amount of downloads you get. It has to do with the amount of subscribers you get. So that just simply means that we have a ton of subscribers um, for both uh, Biker Podcast and Motorcycle Podcast. So um, the, the things that you see ranked up on search criteria in iTunes is simply because that particular podcast has the most actual people that go in 
and not just listen to the podcast, but they actually hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much to our audience and our loyal listeners for pushing that subscribe button. If you haven't, you just listen to it. And even if you listen to it somewhere else, it really helps us out um, to go in and hit the subscribe button. Rankings, the way I understand, or, or comments, excuse me, do help a little bit, but by and far, it's uh, uh, the amount of subscribers. So help us out there and go in and subscribe in iTunes if you haven't. It's really easy to do. So we have uh, some new ratings, um, some new comments I want to talk about real quick that we've received in the first of this year, and I just haven't been able to get to them in another podcast. They are all five-star ratings. We do have one bad review. I'll talk about that very briefly. Um, we're not. I'm not going to uh, um, stall on that too much because it's one bad review, and uh, I the guy that left it is it, just. It, it doesn't make any sense. If you guys want to read it, you can certainly go read it. But here we go. Uh, this is by. Uh, this is his tag name in in iTunes. Why are all nicknames taken? Question mark. And he says, "Great show." Uh, one of my must listens. Thank you for putting out a great podcast for the law abiding, uh, for, for, for the law abiding. Stay safe. Thank you. Why are all the nicknames taken? Here is from Moto Sage. Funny, funny banter. Oh, I got to change that because I'm going to put this stuff in the show notes. I put spelled it wrong, but he says, uh, uh, excuse me, funny banter with some great knowledge, fun to listen to with some excellent insights into the writing community thank you moto sage F- next is fat boy low good information and fun to listen to thank you sir and next is weird i can't it's it's e period m i c period b e mc b great podcast very well produced great information well thought out it's entertaining with fun interaction between hosts and, and guests great resource for tech and services thanks guys for all the hard work on this podcast and for all you keeping us uh, safe in your daily work too. It's nice to be able to hear the opinions of men we can respect. Thank you, E. Well, that's very nice of you, uh, Emic B. Uh, appreciate the props on what we do for a living on full time as we're all law enforcement officers too. Very uh, awesome, brother um, or sister. I don't know which it is. Um, next is T Bird fan. While I would be uh, reticent to, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. I uh, if. Uh, while I would be reluctant to subscribe to every opinion passed on every podcast, these dudes do do a good job passing on general MC a motorcycle information as well as weighing in with well-thought-out opinions. The podcast is pretty hardly centric and is based around formally established motorcycle protocol, MC protocol, which may not be everyone's bag, but they don't profess it to be either. They do what they do well, and for that I say thumbs up. Wow, thank you, T-Bird fan. Now, that's a really awesome review. He gave five star, but he put some other stuff in there. It is Harley centric right now. And as you guys know, this podcast, the Law Abiding Biker podcast, is for all law abiding bikers. We don't care what kind of motorcycle you ride. As long as you ride a motorcycle, you like the wind in your face. It is for the motorcycle majority. That's right, the 99 percenters. Uh, so we just don't have anybody right now um, that, that that's a, we, we ride with people that have metric bikes and we want to become more, um, we don't want to be so Harley centric. It's just it's just where we are right now. So do not think for a second if you want to get be on this podcast, if you want us an interview, if you want, and I'm going to talk a little bit later about some blogs. If you want to write some blogs, I'll talk about that. Um, get involved. We would love to have people, um, and we do ride with people that have metrics bikes, but just none of them are on the podcast. So if you guys want to bring that into this forum, we created it for you. Uh, we created the platform. Jump on the platform with us. And if you want to bring more metric stuff into this, you got to help me. As I'm going to be quite honest with you, I've worked on some metric bikes, but not a lot. I know a lot about Harleys. Um, um, and it's just because I ride a Harley, I suppose. Um, but as far as the metric goes, believe me, I'm willing to learn and, but I need help uh, with other people. And if that's getting on the podcast and talking, if that's writing a blog that I can put on the the site for you, whatever, jump on board. Let's make this more metric. Uh, uh, we can, you know, do a half and a half or a third or whatever it is. I don't know. This is your guys' platform. Anyways, our bad review is from a guy named former Marine two. I am not going to read it because it's like, a freaking novel but if you guys want to read it it's it's ridiculous and i'm not just saying that if a lot of people left bad comments i would be worried about it um but i'm not and i'm not going to call this guy out uh you know it, it's not necessary for me i've got more important things to talk about than one bad review and a guy that just goes off the handle um i do know who the individual is uh, he sent me multiple emails over a period of time and we actually had 
some rather interesting conversation just about motorcycling. But for whatever reason, this guy was emailing me um, and like stalking me for uh, like 10 emails in, in a month. And he started to get a little weird. And then he started talking. He was literally trying to change the entire format of my podcast and my free podcast. Uh, may I tell you, former Marine too, this is all free. And, uh, you know, um, of course people donate, but I don't know that he, um, I am not sure I shouldn't say that, um, whether he donated or not, I'd have to go back to records, but anyways, he put up a very scathing. It's just, it's kind of childish and it really picks at things that, that don't need to be picked at. And it's not, it's not a constructive type review. So anyways, um, yeah, it, it that is what it is. But uh, like I say, it's it's all alone. Um, that one one star review, and he, like I say, he was emailing me, so I know exactly who it is. And he was trying to change the whole format of the podcast, literally thinking he could. And I'm sorry, but for one person, if I got like a hundred emails and everybody was saying change it, well, that's different. But I'm not going to do it for one guy, and I don't know why he cares so much when it's free. Uh, just move on to other podcasts bro because apparently there's no other good motorcycle podcast out there you told me in your email and uh so i guess you're not going to find one so anyways let's move on from that guys um uh yeah i stitcher reviews okay we have a ton of stitcher reviews i'm not going to read them to you guys because this podcast obviously i i, I don't want to bore you um but um and there's like 20 some of them uh and we'll get to them on we'll, we'll read a few of them on another podcast i have it in my notes to do so but we are really ranking up in stitcher radio guys in fact if you google that biker podcast i think the third or fourth hit is stitcher radio and that's us and we've got all five star ratings on stitcher radio so if you're on that platform it is a um pretty good uh if you don't have itunes or you have android it's probably the best uh uh app to aggregate uh to bring in podcast kind of a podcast catcher so to speak. So if you're using Stitcher Radio and uh, you've rated us, you can rate us on Stitcher Radio right on the computer and lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Stitcher Radio. Very simple. Thank you so much for that. We'll get off that topic and move right on to YouTube. Guys, wow. I want to talk about this a little bit. As you know, I've worked really hard over the last year and here's where we're at. Not only have we put out, oh, Real quick, I want to put out this, um, yeah, how many episodes have we done? I, I skipped right over that. Let's stop on YouTube right now. I'll come right back to that. Let me talk about how many episodes, and I'm looking here. Okay, so this episode will likely be, um, I'm, I'm not going to say for sure, but it'll likely be our 36th episode, and that is just regular episodes. That does not include the uh, the seven special Sons of Anarchy episodes we did during the SOA season. So, um, yeah, so we are right up there. Um, man, that's a lot of episodes for a year. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm just looking here. Yeah, so 36, uh, yeah, so 43. Uh, I had to count on my fingers. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So with the SOA, that's like 43 episodes in one year. Wow. Um, and so with that, now I want to get to YouTube and you guys are going to be amazed at this on top of the, what did I say? 43 podcast episodes in less than a year that we put out. I have put out 27 free YouTube tutorial videos and reviews. Also, I put out seven vlogs. So put out a ton of videos, uh, free videos. And on our YouTube channel, as of today, I just looked it up. We have over 200. We actually, this is exact, 236,165 total views of all our free YouTube videos. And believe me, a lot, or not a lot, but there are six that are not free. And if those, if I were to release those, those numbers would go through the roof because they are coveted videos that people are purchasing and want, um, that I get a lot of requests for. Okay. YouTube, we started with zero subscribers and in less than a year I have 1000. It's actually my personal channel and it's uh, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash YouTube. And that'll take you right to it. Or it's YouTube channel scrappy 587. We have moved to 1,475 subscribers. Thanks to the YouTube community. That has been huge. 
ton of comments, which helps uh, obviously in all that Google stuff, the interaction and the comments that people make. I have to respond back daily on YouTube, not just email, but I have to respond back on YouTube comments. Thank you for being involved. Everybody uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you know when new videos come out um, and it also helps us out. So here we go. Just a couple. Of course, I'm not going to list all 27 videos, not even close. I think I'm going to do four here um, and I'm just going to do our top uh, hits and that is we're going to start with um, our Vance and Heinz dresser twin slash round slip on mufflers Harley Davidson touring that has 14,340 views. You can find that at lawbitingbiker.com forward slash twin slash rounds and for the rest of these it's all going to be lawabidingbiker.com i'm just going to tell you slash twin slash rounds that's how you can get that next up on the list is remove install front wheel tire fender from a harley davidson motorcycle 17,336 views forward slash front wheel number three how to remove and install a rear wheel tire of harley davidson motorcycle 27,796 views forward slash rear wheel if you want to get that uh, the next one, two, uh, 2014 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Amber Whiskey Color Overview. I did a great overview on that. Man, 37,419 views. If you want to get it forward slash 2014 Street Glide Special. And uh, people, man, I got a ton of comments on that one and a ton of hits. I didn't. It's funny. The ones you think are going to be popular are not. And the ones you don't think are going to be that popular go through the roof. You just, you can't. Uh, you can't figure out YouTube or why people uh, like certain videos, but I'm just glad they do. So last one, and we'll move on. How to do routine maintenance oil change, Harley Davidson motorcycle. Wow, a whopping 77,397 views. That has been our most popular video by far. If you want to get it, forward slash maintenance. So there we go, guys. Get involved with the YouTube community if you haven't. Um, you get those videos, and that's where I put out all my free stuff and vlogs and keep you up to date. So, yeah, subscribe in iTunes and uh, also YouTube. That helps us out. Of course, I do, over the last year, have made, in addition to those videos, have made six for sale videos that are kept, um, they're private. Uh, I keep them private on YouTube. Um, and then I, um, just because I want to store them there and I have backups of them too, but that's not how you get them um, distributed to you actually purchase them. And then once you purchase a video, uh, it downloads, you immediately download it to your computer, your laptop or your desktop. And it's, uh, then you can watch that video from there. And then if you want to transfer it to your iPad or a mobile device, you can do it from there. There's lots of ways to do that. But when you first buy it, you need to download it to a, a desktop or laptop. You can't download it directly, but then it's yours. It's your video and you can watch it as many times as you want and refer to it. So here's our six videos for sale over a one year period. Boombox infotainment complete guide. Um, Boombox software and map update complete guide. Harley Davidson ride planner complete guide. Harley routine maintenance and oil change. And let me tell you a little bit about that one, guys. That video, the free one we have on YouTube gets, gets the 77,000 hits and it's a good video. But let me tell you, if you want more detail and everything way more precise, I highly suggest you go buy this for purchase Harley routine maintenance and oil change. It goes, if you think the video on YouTube gets 77,000 hits isn't good, you should see this one. So next is aftermarket exhaust and pipes and headers and uh, install those. Uh, the Power Commander 5 install and a Stage 1 intake install. Um, if you want to get any of those, lawbindingbiker.com forward slash buy videos and it will basically take you to a page where all the videos that I have right now are for, for sale on there and you can click on them. Lots of them have um, uh, a video right there to tell you about the video that you're about to purchase if you want and it tells you the price and everything. So there you go. Um, thank you um, for all the purchases throughout the year. Um, it really does help. And it, we, some of those videos are very, very popular and they're selling daily. And I thank you for that. And that you can basically put it this way, like I put it in the past is by buying those videos, you're really helping um, law abiding biker podcast and media because that money can go directly back into continuing to make four purchase videos and to continue to put out the free content to continue to do the podcast. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, 
call the ball on this, you know, as far as how big we get um, and what direction we go from here. But that's why I started making some for sale videos simply because um, I needed to subsidize this. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, real quick, I talked about it earlier. Do you blog? I really want to get you guys involved. And I've really been thinking about this and it kind of came to me. If you guys are knowledgeable with something biker related that you think would fit within law abiding biker, whether that be metric bikes, whether it be riding stuff, whether it be riding gear, whether it be, if you have videos of your own, um, review videos that, that you personally made, um, and you want them on the site, get a hold of me, please. I would really, really like it. I haven't put this out there before, but I really going to start promoting this throughout 2000 or throughout the, the next, uh, calendar year for, or the next year for us. Um, so you, it's simple to write a blog. If, if you're very knowledgeable in an area and you want people to know what you want to know, um, send it to me. You don't even have to just write it, write it in a, a, uh, you know, text editor or, um, anything like that. And, uh, um, and, and you can send it to me via email. You can even write it right in an email and I can cut and paste it and, uh, leave me your full name. I will give you full credit. I don't want credit for the blog. Um, I'll give you full credit for it. Um, right at the beginning, I'll put this blog courtesy of, and, and your name. And if you want your city and state there, whatever, let me know. I don't want credit for it. I just want to get information out there for the law abiding biker community. And if you're knowledgeable and you can write, you don't even have to be a good writer. I'm not a great writer. If you read my blogs, I think I do. Okay. I've never been to any schools for this. I just started doing it and you can do it too and share your knowledge with the community. I would love it. Um, let's see if it's something you want to do regular and it's something you want to blog on, on and, and, and really put it on our site. Um, I'll give you, uh, if you're somewhat, um, understand what I'm talking about, I'll give you, uh, access to the back end of the website. So you can just, uh, um, you can blog as a contributor, um, and you can get right in and then it goes right on the blog. Of course I approve it and then it goes right on the blog. So I'm not going to get into those technical details. It's really not that tough, but I can give you access to the back end of the website and make you an username and password. And all you can do, you can't manipulate the site, but you can just write a blog and insert pictures. Again, if you have a video or pictures to go along with your blog that you want posted on the law abiding biker saw, uh, excuse me, law abiding biker website, send your email with your pictures. I'll crank them down to a size that's manageable uh, for the website. I want to make sure it keeps loading fast. Um, but I'll, I'll do all that for you. If you don't know how to do that, just all you got to do is get the pictures in there and get your blog and your message. And, uh, I'll post it for you as long as it's not foul or obviously it's got to, you know, guys, it's got to meet, uh, um, something that, uh, would be interesting to our audience and something that's, uh, clean in nature. Um, and something I think people can use. So please get involved. And uh, if you want to blog, start your blog, blogging career right here. You can get a little taste for it and, uh, yeah, dip your toes in it. It's a lot of, it's, it's very cool. And I really hope people take me up on this. You can send your blogs directly to me at Ryan at law abiding, R Y A N at law abiding biker.com. Just make sure you label it. So it's not going to get, uh, I'm not going to look over it. Um, and you can also call and leave a voicemail um, right at lawabidingbiker.com. Let me see if I have that voicemail real quick. Uh, you can call at 509-731-3548. Again, 509-731-3548. That's our direct voice line. And you can tell me, hey, I sent a uh, blog so that I make sure and and look for it. So, Because like I said, I get so much spam email. I don't want to cruise over that. That would suck. So you can leave a quick voicemail too. Um, let's move on. Uh, I started really awesome and I was meaning to do it all year. I finally did it a free email club and you guys that are involved with the email clubs know what I'm talking about. If you want to get signed up for the free email club again, guys, it's completely free. It's for your benefit. It is lawabidingbiker.com forward slash email club. It's that simple. It's simple. It takes two seconds to sign up, sign in the form. And from that point on, um, you are the first to get everything. If you guys are listening and you're signed up, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You are the first to get all the new free content. A lot of times I put out free content and you guys don't even know about it for a week or two. Um, if at all, some things I just you know, if you find it, you find it, but you're missing out on a lot of stuff. Believe me, these guys can tell you these guys and gals and these uh, law abiding bikers that are signed up for it are the first to get it. Also, they are the first and only ones to get exclusive coupon codes for videos and products that I put out. Um, 
I don't put video, I don't put out coupon codes and uh, for anything else. Only you have to be a member of the Law Abiding Biker email club. Simple as that. And when I put out videos, I just did a video and there was a 48 hour sale and it was a substantial um, uh, discount on the new for sale video I put out. And they're the only ones that get it, and it expired after that. And once in a while, I do do the coupon codes. My uh, where I like to put out coupon codes is both people that listen to the podcast, and I will put out coupon codes on this podcast too. I want you listening to the podcast and uh, be rewarded for that, um, and also for being part of the email club. So those are the only two places that I'll ever put out um, uh, coupon codes. But you really need to be listening and signed up for the email club to. Uh, um, if you want to stand a chance at getting those coupon codes, I will not spam you guys. Um, you can ask the guys, if you know any that have signed up for the email club, I do not spam you. I absolutely 100% will not. I bought an expensive service. I protect your information. I will never ever sell your information. I promise you that you guys know how transparent I am here and I will not sell your information. Absolutely not. It's all protected. The only people you'll get emails is from me, which is law abiding biker media. And I only send out an email once in a while. You won't even get several a week. I might send out one, one week, and then it might be two weeks before you get another one. I can only, I'm only going to email you when I have relevant content that I think you're going to be interested in. And whether that's a free video or a for sale product, I will send you and just let you know about it so that it has direct links right to it. And uh, if you do want to purchase it, there's no pressure. It's, It's not a spamming thing. Um, like I say, I went with an expensive, very reliable service. Um, I pay for it. Of course I do all the emails personally. Nobody writes those for me. Those are all straight from me at this point. The service just allows me to create, create HTML, uh, emails. And so basically what that means, if you don't know is hypertext markup language, that's, uh, some code and it allows you to write emails so that they look like a website, a web page. And you guys all know what I'm talking about on those emails you get from companies and they have pictures and direct links. It just, it allows me to create, um, like I say, the HTML, uh, emails. So, um, but I write them all and I'm the one that physically sends them. I push send, I know when I'm sending them and all that. So please feel comfortable again, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash email club, spread it around, get people signed up. Um, yeah, let's see many. Yeah, we are the subscriber list has grown. I only got it going about a month and a half ago. And every day I, I don't look every day, but every day we get new subscribers. When I do get to look, I can tell when we got subscribers. So, um, very awesome. Thanks guys for your support on that. And, uh, if you want to help support the email club, of course, you can donate lawabidingbiker.com forward slash donate for any of our services that we provide and to keep these valuable tools going. Also, if you are listening and you're in business or you're thinking about starting an email list, I strongly suggest you go to uh, AWeber. That's A-W-E-B-E-R. That's a service. They are the best service. Another one out there is MailChimp. I have my reasons for not using MailChimp, and I would suggest uh, you not use MailChimp either. Um, I'm not going to get into that, um, but there are. I looked at them extensively before I started. Um, and there's a lot of reasons I went with AWeber and I will tell you real quick, I'm very transparent here. I do have a, uh, an affiliate. I'm an affiliate with, um, AWeber. And if you go and through law abiding biker, if you go through my affiliate link, I do get, um, these are a very good company and I do get a substantial, um, kickback, not only for purchasing it. Um, if you purchase a, a, a subscriber, uh, email list, um, if you purchase the service, I should say, um, through me, then I, and I, I get it for the life. Uh, I get a kickback for the life of that service. Um, each year, if you, um, continue your service, I get a small kickback. They're one of the better companies for being an affiliate. So if you're a company or you're a club or anything, and you want to put out HTML emails that look like a website and you want to keep track of a list of people and uh, a really tight knit, you know, community is what I'm keeping track of. Um, you can go through my affiliate link and please do that. It would help us out. And that's lawabidingbiker.com forward slash a Weber again, forward slash a Weber, a W E B E R. If you go to that direct link and it will be in the show notes, um, or anytime you want to type that in again, thank you so much. That's all I'll say about that little affiliate, but it helps us out. Um, I will tell you guys, like I say, we are transparent. I'm going to tell you what's coming up in the next year, what we are working on. 
I started working on it last year, as you guys know, and I'm just going to let you guys know, yes, uh, we are look, working on sponsorship here at the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. We, uh, um, we're we getting um, to that size where um, we think it's time and sponsorship can help us. There's not just one reason for sponsorship. I don't want you guys to think and you know that we're just being sponsored to sponsor. There are very... Um, good reasons that we are seeking sponsorship and we have been contacted. I will talk about that a little bit by some um, other affiliates that I will not um, represent. And I want to tell you what I mean by that. Um, We, let me first talk about a few of the, the sponsorships we're looking for in the next year is advertising, of course, on the podcast. And you may see some of that very, it's not going to be intrusive um, at all. And if you listen to other podcasts, you've heard it. Um, it will not be intrusive. It'll be very short. Um, and I'm, and that what I'm saying about what I just said about, uh, um, not uh, being sponsored by certain people. I want you to guys know my promise to you forever, as long as I'm in charge of this podcast while I own it. So I hope I'm in charge and I own the business. So hopefully, um, that will continue, but I just want you, as long as I'm in charge, I will never advertise to you guys a product that we here at Law Abiding Biker don't trust or already um, um, used or we test it. We believe in it. We believe in a service. Um, I'm telling you, I have been contacted by a couple and I want you guys to know no matter what amount of money is offered to me, I absolutely will not do that to you guys. Reason is I will completely lose your trust and respect. I, I, I will not do that to you guys. I, that's what I bank on here is at Law Abiding Biker Media is the trust that I have. Uh, hopefully you guys have the trust in me and the lab crew and we don't steer you in wrong directions and, and we keep coming at you straight um, and and giving you that, that uh, level of transparency that you can see right in and see what we're doing. That's why I'm telling you guys all this stuff. I don't want it to come as a surprise, but just know I don't care what I'm offered, Okay. Um, uh, I will not, I have turned down several and I'm not going to just for money, um, tell you guys that something's cool or that I've tried it. If, if I tell you about it, um, it's something that I believe in. And if at some point I don't believe it anymore and I did believe in it and that company goes sour or their product goes sour, I'll tell you about it. I don't care. You're not going to buy me like that. So just know that I do want sponsors, but I want good quality sponsors and we're working on that guys. And really what you can do to help us out is anytime you buy anything motorcycle, anything motorcycle related, whether it's a a clothing, whether it's a tire, whether it's a new motorcycle, whether it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's Harley, doesn't matter if it's a metric, you know, all these big um, motorcycle stores, just tell them, Hey, you should be sponsoring the law abiding biker podcast and media. And if they ask more, and I know several of our listening audience did that on their own. I didn't even ask them to. And they sent me an email back and these companies are starting to listen up. They hear that enough. They'll start contacting us and uh, looking for sponsorship ideas. And again, I will only bring you the quality ones guys. Um, So just know I'm working on that. And if you can help us out anytime you order anything um, in the comments, even if you order it online, just say, Hey, I learned about you or I bought this because of the law abiding biker podcast and media. Thanks guys. That would help us out. So reasons for sponsorship guys real quick. Um, I'll tell you the donations have been great. I am so humbled by that. I've told you guys that a million times. You guys are the best out there. Um, but really the donations, you know, are far and few between and, um, you know, they help with keeping some of the services running. I'm not going to get into all. I talked about a Weber, um, we've got the internet site, we've got hosts, we've got audio hosts, and there's a whole bunch of other services as we grow that I have to have in place, um, to keep this, uh, to keep the wheel from squeaking, so to speak. So, um, the donations do help, but by far, um, and the video sales help, but I still have out of pocket guys. Um, and that's okay. That's why we're, you know, exactly why I'm talking to you about this, that we're trying for some sponsorship. That's one of the reasons is just to pay all the bills to keep everything going, um, is, is getting that sponsorship. And I talked earlier, yeah, I would like to, you know, have the lab guys who come over for free right now. I would like to be able to, you know, at some point pay them. I know they don't expect it. I know they don't want them. But as we grow, 
Um, you know, that would be nice. And also I am so bombarded right now. I would like to hire a virtual assistant. I've told you guys that in the past and basically an assistant to help me handle emails and uploading audio and, and just an array of things. Um, if I could get to that point, it would be awesome. So that would be another reason for sponsorship. Just taking this thing to the next level guys is where I want to take it. And sponsorship is the only way to do that right now. Um, I really would like a virtual assistant or you can, you know, you can just call it assistant if you want, but basically a, um, a virtual assistant would work out for me. And that's an assistant that you hire online. It's a real person, but uh, they do a lot of your uh, work. The day-to-day stuff, I could focus more on making videos for you guys. And I could have somebody else edit them instead of me doing all of it. I could have somebody else edit the audio and upload it. You get it. Um, just somebody to help me with all that stuff so I can focus on the stuff um, that you really guys really like. And that's the videos and the podcast. Um So, and because of that, I could bring you more content if I could hire, you know, an assistant and things like that. So that's obviously a reason for sponsorship. And of course I could purchase better tools to bring you better content. I really want to bring bring you guys the highest of quality videos, the highest of quality videos. And I do the best I can right now. Um, but obviously I am looking into purchasing and it's a, a long ways away, but I have a really awesome, uh, video equipment, um, and I have purchased some other video editing software. I did that on my own. Um, there's some other software that I would like to. So, you know, just the the better the tools I have, the better stuff I can bring to you guys. So there you go. Enough with sponsorship. That's where we're headed, guys. Um, yeah, we're just getting started. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I just want you guys to know we are just getting started here. Uh, we've accomplished so much in in one year that we've been out March 16th, 2013. We put our first episode out. I did alone and uh, I've only done a couple alone since we've had the co-host. Like I told you guys, um, we're going to keep coming at you. We're going to come at you hard. We're going to come at you fast and we are taking this thing to the next level. And it's because of you guys, the amount of downloads, the amount of interaction, we're excited about it. Um, yes, I, I said, I hope you guys didn't think I was telling you how much work it is and woe is me. That's not what this was about at all. Um, I certainly hope you didn't get that impression. Believe me, uh, if it doesn't become, if it becomes not fun and you know, it doesn't have to be fun in every way. Nothing's fun in every single way, but there's enough fun in this for me that I'm going to, that I'm going to keep doing. If it becomes so burdensome that I just can't do it anymore and it's boring. Well, you know what? sayonara uh, checking out but that is not going to happen guys so do not worry um and thanks for all the uh props and you guys sending me and and uh all the emails you send me and all that uh keeping us going here and uh the positivity that you guys show towards the lab crew uh and lab itself so that's it guys um real quick let's see i just uh yeah i don't think there's anything else i'm just looking over my show notes here to make sure that i didn't miss anything um very important but it does not look like it. So thanks for tuning in guys. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. I hope it was informational Um, and uh, probably not the most entertaining one, but I think we got out or I got out a lot of information and yeah, it's our birthday guys. We are celebrating and this weekend um, I'm going to record a couple more podcasts and the guys are coming down from big river crew from North and I'm going to put a couple shows together So we are going to celebrate our one-year anniversary then um, as a crew. But I did want to record this and get it out in your guys' mobile devices and wherever else you may listen so that you could have this on the exact anniversary. Again, I made copious show notes, copious show notes for you guys. um, And I'll have a lot of the links in there. um, Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash and whatever episode number this is. I think I know which one it's going to be, but I don't want to tell you because I could be wrong. Um, don't forget Lob Pat Law. Excuse me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've been talking way too fast and too much. Lab Podcast phone number. You want to leave a voicemail? You want to get it aired? 509 731 3548. Or internet voicemail on your computer, right from your computer microphone, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash voicemail or voice message. Email or voicemail us at lawabidingbiker.com slash contact. And don't forget to get signed up for that uh, free, 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 free email club. Guys, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash email clubs. Rate us in iTunes. You guys have been the best. Forward slash iTunes. Rate us in Stitcher Radio. Forward slash Stitcher Radio. Thank you so much. Keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up. Peace out, my brothers and sisters.